2015 prophetic word from Yahweh God. A clarion call, for this is your herald's bride. To my bride and all with ears to hear and hearts to receive, please fast and pray for will. January 28, 2015. My dearest beloved, General, 144,000 and Bride, I speak to you today with one purpose in mind, to unify and knit my Bride together as one family. There has been enough division and infighting amongst the Bride of Christ, and now it is time to truly arise and take your position. Fast and pray 40 days, Daniel, for your sister nation of Wales. Many have been praying and crying out to me over the last year for my move to begin and for my glory outpouring. I shall begin to move, but I need my Gideon's army not just in Wales and the United Kingdom, but across the world, supporting this move of mine. I need you to join together in your hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits in a true intercession. What greater love is there than to give your own life for another brother or sister in Christ. I am maturing and mentoring our bride in 2015 to teach her about selfless, true agape love of heaven. Much of what the apostles had in the books of Acts and much of what all true revivals of mine have had prior to an outpouring of my spirit in great measure. You may ask, why 40 days of Daniel fasting prayer and consecration? Because, beloved, I have much to do in and through you within an accelerated period of time now. This karyos a corporate fast across the world will show me if you are truly ready to receive all I want to give and bless you with in 2015 and beyond. Will you join in this fast to cry out and repent for all the wickedness and sins and especially intercede for a sister nation, Wales, to receive the beginning of my blessings and outpouring? I have my lands and heavens in Wales and most of the United Kingdom prepared. I now need a desperate bride, ready and willing to sacrifice all to accomplish my will on earth as in heaven. Your world is so wicked now. My enemies have even perforated the church houses with their gay marriage agendas. Many are being led down the path of destruction and do not even realize it. I, as your heavenly Father, Yahweh of heaven and earth, will always make a way of escape and give my prophets prescriptions of how to mitigate the judgment set forth. And then you decide. I will hear the prayers of all who hold true humility in their hearts. We will listen in the courtrooms of heaven to all the requests and petitions presented to me, your God Almighty. King Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach, and our Holy Spirit, the Ruhach HaKadosh. But my beloved, things are not okay right now. 
Look around and see the abominations, apostasy, and lukewarmness of my body. So many have lost their first love. A good father looks down from heaven at this mess and says, We must do something now. So I will, if you will. Many of my sons and daughters around the world have already been fasting since the commencement of this year. Some even 40 days of water fasting. Thank you. You are all sensing something is very wrong, and it is now being seen and heard in every corridor of the world. Wake up! Do you truly want a revival and great last harvestings of souls across the earth? If you do, I require repentance and holiness. Like I did with my Israelites, I am requiring our church, our true bride of Christ, to do the same. Look at example after example in the Bible. When there were desperate situations or my people wanted me to move my hand and or change my heart, they called times of consecrated corporate prayer and fasting. Why is it that my enemy is able to call 30 days of fasting every year and millions enter in across the world? Also, if you had any idea how many Luciferians regularly fast and pray, more than my bride. And you wonder why they are gaining the advantage? Well, I am telling you, they listen to and obey their master. I will only invite and encourage. I will never force or require. I will send you a strong summons and help you with fasting mantles, extra grace, and supernatural energy to enable you to fast and pray regularly in these end times. Beloved, all you have to do is ask me and obey. There are many hosts of my company of angels and ministering spirits ready and willing to help you. I will be calling my bride to many corporate times of prayer and fasting now. This is for your good. This is to help your flesh be subdued and your spirit to arise and be strong to stand in these darkening judgment days ahead. I need to speak with each of you individually to give you instructions regarding what you are to do according to my perfect will and plan for your life. I need you ready to receive more of me, my son, and our spirit, and our Shekinah glory. Bold and ready to fight the good fight of faith. I now address all those in my army and ministry. Those working with me, my son, Yahushua, and our Holy Spirit, the Ruha HaKodesh. In my five offices of pastor, teacher, evangelist, prophet, and apostle. You, my beloved, need to be my true example in these end times now. You need to immediately simplify your lives and your ministry. And please seek me earnestly on ridding any debt you have. We need you to be real, transparent, speaking our words, and truly able to represent my Son Jesus Christ 
Yahushua HaMashiach, not the debauchery we have had. He was meek, humble, and loving. Galatians 5 spells it out beautifully for you. The fruit of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Galatians 5. He spoke and did only what I asked of him. I expect each of you to do the same. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth not, to him it is sin. James 4.17 I need good role models for my young ones that I am bringing into the bride company in these coming days. I need you to help take them under your wings and disciple them as I lead you, like my son did. I expect more from you because I have given you much. Watchmen, stay on your post, warn the people, no matter who rebukes and chastens you. You need only to worry about pleasing us, not man. Good job. Many mantles and anointings will now be passed on from the old guard who have been judged and found wanting to those who have been found worthy and are my vessels of gold and silver ready to go. Many of these hidden ones you do not know, but they will be exalted in this time and appear very soon. I now send this invitation and summons from heaven to earth. Forty days of consecrated prayer and Daniel fasting, unless I lead you to do a more intense fast. Please remember, beloved, Psalm 91. This will commence February 1st through March 12th. 2015. This week, I have had my daughter place a request for prayer and fasting across Wales in two Welsh newspapers, one for today, January 28th, and one for tomorrow, January 29th. Please read and listen to what our spirit is speaking to the churches in Wales. I asked you to diligently seek me on this message and enter into all I have for you in 2015. Stay close to me, your Father, my Son, and our Holy Spirit this year. We will never leave you nor forsake you. Much is about to happen. You shall be awestruck this year. It is time. Your tarot rod. To prepare yourselves, body, soul, and spirit. For your bridegroom is coming. This is my clarion call to all my children and the nations of the world. Please, beloved, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven and God is at hand. Blessings and shalom. I love you, your beloved Abba, Father, creator of all Yahweh, God. Please read and meditate in my word. Thank you. Toda.
Here is love, fast as the ocean, love. 